What's up, party people? Welcome back to our channel, everyone. Wow, yeah. that was quite the Thank you. I know. party people. Pretty you... excited, pretty fun. We're doing fun stuff. We have fun stuff planned. Life is just fun according to this. Still have not, you know, figured out the whole car situation. We're gonna figure that out. Thank you again for all your guys' comments. Oh, are you Reading guys... those like crazy. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. We got a lot going on, but let's put all that to the side and just <laughs> Finn wanted to say hi to you yeah. this morning. Good morning, poppers. He has had a good morning. I actually yeah. came down with Michelle and Nora, and we went on a long walk, and Madeline as well. Had a good walk outside, that, so that was super fun. He's always kind of tuckered out after those walks in the morning. And some, you know, this Kylie, <laughs> a second ago, I was just sitting on the chair over here. I actually got out my phone to record it. You guys, he puts his little chin. I don't know how it's comfortable. <laughs> But he sits on my lap right here, and then he always comes and sits next to me, and he puts his little chin up on this. Yeah, it's no way that's comfortable. And it's like, hi. Yeah. Anyway, it's like the cutest thing, and then he has a little paw up there by his face. Yeah, you know we're talking about you, hi, dude. So over the next few months, we are going to be out of town traveling. So you guys know how much we travel, and I feel like over the years, I have been, what would you say, babe? I've gotten better with the Yes, yeah, so it used to be like issues. two check bags, and now we're down to this bag and the carry-on. Yes. I have simplified a lot. And let me just tell you how happy that makes me. Let me introduce you to your new travel best friend. This is the Nomad Lane Bento Bag. It's actually Ooh. the version 4. Put it I on a shoulder. Look at that, Ooh. right? Look at that action. Well, speaking of shoulder, it actually comes with an adjustable shoulder strap. Ooh! Which is very you want to wear it that way. Not only is it a beautiful bag, you guys, the quality on this, I wish you could feel this. I mean, you can kind of just tell by looking at it, but yeah, it has these beautiful nice. leather handles, even just like the hardware on it. This is a very high quality bag. So let's start in the front here, you guys. There's this giant front pocket, and there is a place for everything. So you can Ooh. put your pens in here, a place for things like your passport, anything else you want to have quick oh, access to. Ring? Yes, Ooh. you can throw your keys in here. This is something I've never had in a travel bag. So it has its own compartment. Check this out. So this Ooh. is a little tech bag. So you can put all of your cords in here, like any tech stuff, babe. This is, I know, Jerry yes. uses this piece. This is like up my alley. But you can organize this. You can put all your cords over here that are strapped in. And then there's <laughs> lots of other room in there. You can stick other stuff in there. But then on the other side, so you know when you're going through TSA, especially traveling internationally, you need everything in a clear bag. Oh, that's awesome. They even have a toiletry bag that is clear on both sides. And same thing with the little handle, so you can just pop this yeah. out and you can get through super security convenient. super conveniently. Then in the middle compartment, you guys hear it. You light. got a sleeve for your laptop, so you can quickly grab that. It's nice and padded, so it'll protect it. There's actually two sleeves right there for that, which is great. But this is the coolest part of this bag. So it actually opens up like a suitcase. But I like to put like shoes and different things like that in here. And there's lots of little areas you can, you know, stuff stuff under. So this is like a perfect bag, especially if you're doing like a little weekend getaway, anything like that. With it being a personal item, it fits underneath the seat in front of you, which is great. You have a place that goes onto a carry-on bag if you want to put it on top of your suitcase as well. It also zips up so when you're not using it, say for travel, you can use that as a pocket. A little stuff pocket up at the top where you can put your phone or anything you want to grab easily. It even has a place for your water bottle to go <laughs> as well. We have loved this bag for traveling. I will put a link in the description down below for any of you guys that are interested in checking it out. They have a ton of different things on their website. You can kind of browse, see colors, things like that. But this is a game changer. All right, you guys, a lot has happened since we last videoed. First of all, I got to go play with Nora out in the pool for a little bit. <laughs> had so much fun with her. I took her for a very important reason because Michelle, so Nate's at work right now and Michelle and him have been on the phone a lot back and forth because I don't know, have we told them that they're looking for a car as well? And so they've been looking for a car, we've been looking for a car. It's just car craziness over here pretty much. But they found one. They did. And they- Hope you like crazy. Yes, like it's almost, they're gonna head like over. 98% done. Yeah, 98% done. So they actually have been going back and forth with like the sales people because supposedly it's like the end of the month, so there's some good deals. Anyways, they've been, you know, going back and forth the whole sales thing. But they think they found a car, which is so exciting. So Jared, a little quick update on our car, you guys. I don't have you even told them about mm. so our car, our Kia, we actually good news, I mean to a point. Um, it was electrical and it was only a few hundred dollars to fix. A couple hundred dollars. A couple, 
Pretty inexpensive, actually. Yeah, it's pretty inexpensive. Compared to what we thought it was gonna be. Or compared to just renting a car, so we did yeah. decide to have them fix it. So it is running right now. So that kind of takes some of the pressure off of us. Yeah. There's still a lot of other cars that we wanna go see. So we'll kind of update you on all that later. But right now, Jared, the reason I'm talking fast is because Jared <laughs> is gonna go pick Nate up from the train station. He's been taking the train to Miami and they're gonna go pick up, hopefully, their <laughs> new car, which is gonna be yeah. awesome. So I'm gonna stay here with Michelle. She's gotta put the girls down tonight. And the boys are gonna go have fun. Yeah. See the new car. Hopefully, come back with two cars. That's gonna be awesome. Maybe you'll find one there too. We got about the Honda dealership. Yeah. Still. Okay, guys, we're officially here. Today's the day. Here we are, guys. Of Honda. <laughs> Jared can pick me up. We're about to go get a car, I think. <laughs> Wait, so they actually do not know which car you're thinking about. Okay, so we are looking at the 2024 Honda Accord Hybrid. <laughs> and, and it's the Touring the model. The Touring. Which is awesome. Trim, yeah. Yeah, very, very cool. Literally so pumped for it. <laughs> and he worked like crazy to find this model. We went to, I don't know how many different dealers. I drove <laughs> to probably four different dealers, spoke to all these different dealerships here in Florida, and tried to work it a little bit to get a pretty good deal. That is pretty amazing. He negotiated like crazy. He was like calling them, he was emailing them, like he was going there physically in person, and he got a crazy good deal. He was telling me about it. It's $1,500 below the sticker price. Yeah, below the retail, the MSRP, yeah. so. And that includes everything, like your sales tax, the dealer fee, the tag fee for your license plate. They're even gonna everything. throw on some tint for us. Exactly. <laughs> How crazy of a good deal is that? And today is September 30th, so like they're literally getting yeah, it at the, the end of the month. It's the end of quarter, so they're making this big deal about how they're trying to, you know. Quarter. End a month, end a quarter, yeah. get the inventory gone, so. And this is a car he's had his eye on for a very long time, so he's very excited about it. And yeah. apparently, they actually have not selected the color. So yeah. we're gonna go in there and find out what color he's gonna get. We, we have one in mind, <laughs> we're gonna go check out and, and, and see and make the actual pick right now. So <laughs> come so along cool. with us. All right, I have not seen this in a very long time. This is red interior. This was really cool back in the 80s, and I think it might be making a comeback because this is the new Civic, I believe. Nate said this is a Civic as well. Yeah, you can tell it's a little bit shorter. And same thing here, guys. Red interior. Boy, that actually looks pretty darn cool. The red interior with the black. That really pops. So he literally just said, pick a color <laughs> and we'll get it for you. Oh, dude. Yeah. This That's one's cool. done metallic gray. Okay. Right. Kind of show you the comparison color. This is metallic gray? It's metallic gray. Metallic, yeah. That looks nice. That's a nice color. It has the gray interior though. I would say, Nate, before you snag it, maybe see if they can pull it out in the sunlight. It's kind of hard to see, but this one actually has light interior. It's kind of like a light beige interior, and that one has black. So that's like that slate gray with the black interior, which is pretty darn sporty looking, not gonna lie. I know, I kind of like the sportier kind yeah. of black interior. I think it looks cool. But I think it's really cool. This one just seems not as, I don't know, not as sporty. Even though it's the exact same car. Yeah, I yeah. kind of feel the same way, honestly. But I think I think the gray is the, the way to go. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious what you guys think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let them know if you made a mistake or not. Yeah. <laughs> By the time this goes up, he already has it. So this is the one in white, in case they won that route. And that's still definitely really cool. You can't go wrong with it's white. It's really nice too. Yeah. I had a 2015 Honda Accord and it was white. So oh, I do think the white funny. looks really nice, but yeah. I don't know if I want to have another white Honda Accord. Yeah. Gray <laughs> is really cool, dude. Gray is really cool. Yeah, look, that's just a red over there in between. That's a great example. It's not the same car, but it's the same colors. The whites and the gray, they're the exact same color, different car, but that does look nice, dude. I know. It's sporty. This is definitely pretty cool. This has been a long time coming. I was just and thinking that. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> the price on the car, the fact that he got like such a great deal is like incredible. Like, yeah. Absolutely incredible. Very fortunate, honestly, to <laughs> maybe come at the right time. I don't yeah. know. I know. We were actually thinking about it. He had an idea. He's like, you and Britt should come back tomorrow and try to get the same deal on the exact car that I just got to see if they give you the same deal or not, to see if like the year end, or not the year end, if the month end the is The quarter actually, end is all it's, and the month yeah, end and everything yeah. is all it's cracked up to be. Yeah. Who I knows? Know. <laughs> if you guys have any de car dealer experience, let us know. Yeah. Is that a real thing or are they kind of- Or any like car like negotiation skills, like if there's yeah. anything extra, because we have to still get a car 
and we would definitely like to know that. Whoa, I have not seen this. What's this thing? This is called a Honda Prologue, all electric. Ooh. So you're saying you, you just paid 35 bucks a month for the electricity. Really? And that's yeah, just, for oh, a wow. month unlimited charge if you're a homeowner. Oh, dude. Uh, and they give you a $13,500 13, tax credit. You can kind of see, even by like a regular gray, so you have to more like that kind of like. Yeah. Um, ready? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Wow. As far as the interior, you got heated and cooling front seats. You got oh you heated have, and ventilated seats. Heated and front. ventilating. Um, you also have memory seats one and two. Um, fast charger ports. Wireless Apple CarPlay heads up display. Uh, navigation integrated into the dash. Um, what else? You have EV mode in this one, which you can just press the button if you just want to run on electric. Trunk space is huge in the back here. Typically hybrids seem to have a little bit less trunk space, but this one is ginormous. They're also including this like rubber mat, which is super nice because these are a little bit extra money, but he's getting that for free included. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah. That color looks so nice. And it's actually a little bit dusty right now. He was saying that once you get it all cleaned up, which they'll definitely do once they buy it, but when they get it all cleaned up, it just has like a little shimmer to it. And so that's gonna look so clean. I gotta show you guys this dash again, especially inside of here. That's the one you gotta So he was saying that's got wireless charging right there. Obviously Look at that right there. Heated and cooled seats right here. Dual control right there for your heating and cooling. It's got all the fancy stuff inside of here for like Apple CarPlay, Google Play, all that sort of thing. It's got Google Assistant like built in, which is amazing. Oh my gosh, it actually is reading what I'm saying. Oh, that's so cool. And then he was saying it has a heads up display, which I'm just guessing that you could see that when the car's going. It's got a digital dash right there, which is super nice. You can customize that how you want. This is the steering wheel. Boy, that looks really clean. Look at all the buttons you got right here. Adaptive cruise control, lane assist. That's nice. And these seats, I gotta say, these seats are so soft, so cushy. Look at the give right there. It is so comfortable. And then this, I don't know if we showed you guys this. Back seat, they have heated seats as well, which is super convenient, super nice. <laughs> I'm stoked for Nate. Oh my gosh, this is a good find. Especially with him working down in Miami. You need a good car for commuting, and this is the perfect car. He was telling me that this gets 45 miles to the gallon. That is incredible. So we were actually doing a little test just on the drive over here with my Kia, and my Kia gets my Kia gets 23 miles to the gallon. This is literally almost yeah. double that. Yeah, let's do it, sure. I'll sit in the back and let's go front. All right. Wait, so you decide? We're gonna take a little spin, but yeah, this right. is uh, <laughs> this is it, Jer. <laughs> this, is, this is the color we want. I mean, this color is just so, so sick. It's so perfect. Oh man. I just love it, honestly. Kind of a, a different, almost blue kind of gray, you know, that <laughs> I just think looks so cool. It looks amazing. Yep. So yeah, maybe we'll just take it for a take it for a little spin. Inauguration drive. Inaugural drive. <laughs> no, yeah, inaugural drive. Oh, that's cool. It tells you the uh, who's got seatbelt and who doesn't. Yeah. That is really cool. <laughs> yeah, Mike, buckle up. You're <laughs> <laughs> so gonna have comfort steering with sport transmission. <laughs> that's got some good pickup. Yeah, yeah not bad. <laughs> yeah. So the that's reason why smile. you feel like instant torque. <laughs> the electric motors from zero to 40 to take off and then the gas engine kicks in simultaneously mm -hmm. um, so you don't even hear it uh, so it's almost like an electric car where you get that instant torque feeling you can feel the pickup a little bit right yeah. yeah how's it feel dude feels good to be behind the wheel jerry <laughs> you, you look good it suits you now you said you could put it into drift mode <laughs> This is just a straight bend, you just go straight down. It's got some good handling. It does, yeah. yeah. The it's accords, got a nice sound to it, too. Yeah, yeah. great yeah. sound to it. It does have a nice kind of sporty feel to it, handles really well. Dude, I like the look at this interior. I mean, I have so much room. I'm six foot four on a good day. <laughs> <On> a good <laughs> day. <laughs> this looks good, though, man. They also got a, a company now that we partnered with. 
where they do like custom material. Like you can change, you can choose the type of stitching you want. Oh, for real, like the threading. Embroidering. Really? Uh, you can add suede inserts to the door. <laughs> that is cool. You can, you can customize your car how you want it. So we got a little bit of a bend coming up here, kind of like turns to the left there. So when that thing goes green, it's oh, gonna... yeah, I don't want to crash it, but in theory, yeah, it is steering me along here. Yeah, in the highway. That's not bad. That. <laughs> that is so wow. cool, man. <laughs> yeah, once you set this, the maximum speed you want to go on the highway, and you set one, two, three, or four car lengths, and it'll go the maximum of that speed and keep that distance. Wow. And that's how it works. You know, you oh my know, gosh, look at that turning It's like turning the wheel. Yeah, that's that. unbelievable. <laughs> that's unreal. <laughs> I didn't realize that honestly was yeah. came You know it's a standard that? feature, every Honda has it. Really? Yes, BMW, you have to go up to like two or three trims to get it. Wow. Believe it or not, yeah. You've done a, a better job than honestly any other car salesperson we've been with. Really? Doing a test drive and explaining everything with the car. Seriously. Oh, we've I've been, been to selling view. cars for 11 years now. So it's really? Like, yeah. You're doing you know, a job. It's all about knowing the product. You know? Mike knows best. I can tell. Yeah, so it's in drive, hanging yeah. out. And you tap it, light top. On the brake? On the gas. All right, and then tap, uh, hold the brake again. Yeah. And take your foot off of everything, and it holds it, right? Oh, oh that's wow. nice, yeah. dude. So you can move forward like a little bit. Like stop and go traffic. At a, at a drive through you don't have to keep putting yeah. the brake or holding it. Or if you're at a stop light. Yeah. Just relax. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. And so in the Honda app, you can just go push to start basically. You could be in your kitchen, whatever, push, turn it yeah, on, and, and the car will start. And you set the temperature yeah, what, so where you cool. want it to be. That's and awesome. it'll give you 10 minutes, you can extend it once. So you could do 20 minutes of cooling down time, you know? Yeah. 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 That's um, awesome. So, dude. You, yeah, if you're in the middle of the mall, <laughs> it's the best thing. But if somebody comes up to your door and starts to shake on it, the car will turn off. Mm, you know, if yeah. someone notices that it's on, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. saw that it had the Google Assistant. It like starts talking. Yeah. So can I do anything? Yeah. Once you link your account, uh, it's hooked up to the Wi-Fi package. You can ask it directly to call, uh, give you directions, uh, ask it general questions, um, give me directions to Best Buy. Okay. There's a Best Buy 2.1 miles away. I mean, really, I would like to talk to your manager about. I mean, you know, they're coming. They're coming. I just they wanted me to talk about this, let you know, like I screwed up and that I like apologize for even making you come here on some false hope. They're attempting to do a rug pull at the very last second here and not honor the price that they gave Nate literally less than three hours ago. So we are now talking with the manager and Nate brought up the fact that he actually had in writing on a text message from the salesman the, the price that they want to pay. And she just took a photo of that. Now she left, she's going back, but she quoted Nate about $1,500 more for the car, which is definitely a no-go. Yeah, I had to step outside here real quick just because basically what we found out is that the salesman essentially lured Nate in here under false pretenses and he told him a price and now when it came down to actually sign and do the paperwork, he's quoting him about $1,500 more than what he had agreed upon. It's actually not the sales rep that was in the car with us, it's another sales rep. And so I guess they're kind of like dual doing it and maybe there's some, some, some sort of miscommunication, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But the fact that he had told him on the phone and in a text message what the price was, all in everything, and now here we are to sign the paperwork and they're going back on that and he basically is saying like, my bad. It's like, no dude, like that's a lot of money. You can't just say my bad, sorry, and expect me to cough up the rest of the money. So again, we're gonna go talk to the manager, see what can be done and go from there. You got it, man. You got it. the energy you see. There's only one word for that. <laughs> miracle absolute miracle i can't believe that that <laughs> sailed through i told jared when we were pulling up here i'm like i feel like it's a field goal and i don't know if the football is actually going to make it through the uprights so we're going to oh see gosh. and it literally just sailed through just barely <laughs> bounce off the post yeah bounce off the post <laughs> shell i have some news they're gonna sell us the car <laughs> <laughs> Shell screaming <laughs> so at the cool, price dude. they said they're gonna honor it all right guys quick update we have been here for about five hours now and in fact nate is still inside of there and we're having a little bit of issues where he's not able to get the car tonight but he is signing paperwork right now that's like solidifying the deal and he's gonna have to come back tomorrow in order to pick up the car 
Uh, because he doesn't actually have insurance yet, like he doesn't have any car insurance because they didn't have a car out in New York. It is freshly cleaned. It looks like brand spanking new, as you can tell. This has to be it. Yeah, they even have like the plastic wrap there in the back. This is definitely it. Like the wheels look spotless. Like they're literally shining right now. And if this is it, there will be no sticker. Yeah, there is nothing back to there. So this is definitely the car that he just just purchased and it looks good guys it looks really really good my gosh this is so cool i wish like crazy we could take this out right now and drive it back home make sure you guys are subscribed definitely come on back i mean this is the car that he's gonna be picking up i cannot believe it it's so cool it's literally right here but there's just like a tiny little like tweak of like technicality and so which is why he has to come back but that is okay we're gonna be coming on back. Make sure you guys come on back too to see Michelle's reaction, Brittany's reaction, I mean the kids' reaction. If you guys are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye.